हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर चैनल अप स्कूल सो टूडे इन द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द नेक्स्ट सॉल्ट दैट इज जिंग सल्फेट सो टूडे वी विल सी हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस सॉल्ट एंड हाउ टू परफॉर्म कन्फर्मेटरी टेस्ट फॉर बेसिक रेडिकल जिंक एंड एसिड रेडिकल सल्फेट डेट्स वी स्टार्ट नो वट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप फर्स्ट स्टेप इज परलिमिनरी टेस्ट so in the preliminary test we will check what is the color you will moisten your finger and you will check what is the smell so just you will rub it and you will detect the smell vinegar like smell acetate ammonical smell this way you can detect but in this salt no specific smell is coming up and the third one we have to perform dry heating test so we have i have already taken pinch of salt in a dry test tube and going to heat it just observe it carefully you can see some noises coming and the salt is going to fuse it means this salt is hydrated salt so no specific smell is coming up which means our ammonium acetate chloride these are absent so this is the first step preliminary test now after preliminary test next step is we have to find out which acid or basic radical is present in our salt so for this first step dilute sulfuric acid test so i have taken a pinch of salt no aqueous solution it is a dry test and going to add dilute sulfuric acid you can see this is dilute sulfuric acid and going to add it observe carefully no gas is evolved no bubble it means carbonate sulfide nitrite these all are absent even sulfide also we will discard it we will take another test tube again taking salt only and i am going to add you can see it is concentrated sulfuric acid so do carefully so you can see again no bubbles are coming up no gas is evolved chloride bromide iodide nitrate acetate these all are absent so what we are supposed to do sorry for movement of the camera so we have taken the salt and dissolved it in water just form a clear solution so i have prepared solution aqua solution in more amount because i want aqua solution for basic radicals also from this one part i am going to take so this i have taken now to this i am going to add going to perform the test for sulfate independent radical so this is the first one lead acetate because are carbonate sulfide nitrite acetate chloride bromide all are absent so i'm going to add just see so you can see the solution become turbid and slowly precipitates will start appearing it means the precipitates of lead sulfate are formed so lead sulfate shows that it contains sulfate ion we are going to perform the second part again this is aqua solution we are taking small part to this we are going to add barium chloride so white precipitates of barium chloride it shows the confirmation of sulfate ion so we have detected sulfate ion now we have to proceed for acid radical now for acid radical sorry for basic radical acid radical we have already done 
the basic radicals are divided into different parts group wise so we will start from group 1 so first we will take aqueous solution now to this aqueous solution we are going to add dilute hydrochloric acid you can see this is dilute hydrochloric acid it is for group 1 so i am adding in front of you this i am adding dilute hydrochloric acid you can see no precipitates group 1 is absent so what will we do so we will proceed for group 2 for group 2 we have taken sodium sulfide otherwise we are supposed to pass h2s gas but right now in the lab we prefer sodium sulfide so it is the solution containing hcl i am adding with dropper drop by drop sodium sulfide you can see no precipitates so group 2 is absent so we are supposed to discard it we don't want this we are again taking a part of aqua solution now to this aqua solution the first step now we are proceeding for group 3 be careful we are going to take look this is concentrated nitric acid just few drops that's all after this we have to boil so that if any impurity is there which is being oxidized or interfering it will get oxidized you can see the solution is boiled bubbles are coming up after this we have to cool this solution so cooling is done under the tap i am going to cool this solution and checking it is it cool properly it is cooled after cooling we are supposed to add ammonium chloride this is ammonium chloride so i am going to add ammonium chloride so i am going to add ammonium chloride roughly this much spatula add it shake it properly again we are going to boil the solution so slowly boiling is started and it should be a clear solution boil it properly so that sufficient amount of ammonium chloride get dissolved after this again we are going to cool this solution so first we have added concentrated nitric acid boil cool now we are going to add ammonium chloride boil and cool because we have to add ammonium hydroxide which will be highly soluble only when the solution is cold so it is cooled properly after this i am going to add ammonium hydroxide so you can see this is ammonia i am going to add it and you are supposed to add it till ammonical smell comes from your test tube means in excess i am getting sufficient smell of ammonia so you can see it is not giving any precipitates now this is if the precipitates are here then group 3 should be present but no precipitates means group 3 is absent ferric aluminium and chromium absent basically we have to divide these precipitates in two parts one part for group 4 one part for group 5 
right now i am performing group 4 in front of you so for group 4 we are supposed to add h2s gas that is sodium sulfide in presence of ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide so i am adding here drop by drop you can see now can you see the precipitates just pause the video and check it these are precipitates that is dirty white precipitates of group 4 and which is zinc this little blackish color is due to sulfide ion otherwise the precipitates are white in color now we are supposed to filter the precipitates so for this i have already prepared one test tube having funnel and filter paper so i am going to pour this precipitates here we are supposed to filter the precipitates so the precipitates are ready so we are dissolving it minimum quantity of dilute hydrochloric acid it is soluble you can see clear solution these dense white fumes are because it contain ammonium hydroxide ammonia gas and hcl they are forming otherwise precipitates are forming clear solution divide into two parts to one part we have to perform the conformity test potassium ferrocyanide this is potassium ferrocyanide i am going to add it it is giving bluish green greenish blue or bluish green precipitates it means zinc is confirmed to the second part we are going to add sodium hydroxide you can see white precipitates again start appearing for zinc hydroxide or its complex so that's why it means yes our salt contain basic radical zinc and acid radical sulfate so it is zinc sulfate hydrated salt thanks for watching